This is Chobe National Park. Hello, I'm George from Kalahari Tours. I'll be taking the boys on a safari in this beauty. We'll be camping for three days. If a lion's gonna eat someone, it's gonna be on the outside. <laughs> we'll definitely see lions. Huh? There's ten lions here, and we'll be camping just around the corner. If we are very, very lucky, maybe we'll see a leopard. Now you're driving like a maniac. <laughs> the leopard, you can just see the spots. It's hot and tropical here. Hey guys, it's me, River. Here in Botswana, it is so hot that we are eating ice cream for breakfast. What do you got all over your face, buddy? <laughs> In a few minutes, we'll be arriving at the Chobe National Park entrance, the Sidudu Gate. Where is everybody? Here we have the most dangerous animals in the park, the Homo sapiens. <laughs> this beautiful stretch of land is Chobe National Park. We were promised wild animals. We're just about to get to the river. But we weren't prepared for how many there actually were. The entire horizon is wall-to-wall -wall elephants. Yep, there's a lot of elephants. Trobe National Park is home to 90,000 African elephants, the most in the world. Eight, nine, <laughs> Good luck, buddy. Seven, Are you counting the elephants? This group has a few young ones with it. They're adorable. Then there was a giraffe as tall as a house. Okay, make that like 10 giraffes. They were everywhere. There's a giraffe just here. You literally can't take your eyes off the forest because there's like something every two minutes. Suddenly, we were right next to a herd of elephants and they were watching over a little one. It was amazing to watch them care for the baby. As the elephants headed toward the river, it was time for us to head to camp. I don't think that one liked it. It pooped at us. There are no signs of lions yet. But around every corner is something new, like this sable antelope, or these giant majestic kudu, and an entire dazzle of zebra. There's a baby zebra over there lying down. We seem to have hit the baby jackpot. There's oh, an yeah. incredibly tiny, tiny one. Tiny, like... tiny. This group has four infants, and the littlest one is only one or two months old. That's the smallest elephant I've ever seen. We sit, watch, and listen. There are just so many animals here. We almost forgot we're here to camp with lions. And then we spot something in the bushes. Lions. Right here, there's a lion. There's so many lions. It's so hot out in the afternoon. They're just sleeping off the heat of the day. Lions can see really well in the dark and that's why they do most of their hunting at night. They even hunt during storms, when it's harder for their prey to see and hear them. George thinks they were hunting last night, and that's why they're so exhausted. We quietly make our exit and head towards camp. Uh, we're gonna be at campsite in, in, in the next half hours, I think. We have definitely reached the edge of civilization. As we are nearing our campsite, George makes one last unnerving discovery. He's spotted what looks like a large pride of lions. I see five lions. They're sleeping now, but tonight they'll be on the hunt. If you listen carefully, you can hear them all breathing. So when we're crawling into our tents tonight, these guys will be waking up hungry. So far we've seen Nine lions, and George thinks there's a few more on the other side. 
Whoa, there's a lion cub. Can you believe it? There's ten lions here, and we'll be camping just around the corner. Final count, there is eleven lions here. Okay, time for camping. And then, just a few minutes down the road. Welcome to Camping with Lions. Oh, at the toilet. Oh, it's slow, folks. It looks awesome. Okay, welcome to camp. Everybody realized that we have an electric fence. Good thing for that electric fence. Oh, he's joking. And there was 14 lions, so. Not to worry. If we stayed near the tents, we'd be safe. Which bed are you taking, buddy? The middle, because if a lion's gonna eat someone, it's gonna be on the outside. Lion bait, lion bait, safe. It was time to check out the, wall. the bathroom. The toilet seat on some metal and a shovel. I don't think somebody got the metal they missed. That is elephant poop. Which means we could also be trampled by elephants. Shower, anyone? So we got a bag full of hot water. <laughs> ben, you took a shower last month, right? Mm, yeah, maybe last month. <laughs> <laughs> Soon, day became night. Bye-bye. And those lions, well, they're awake now. Yikes. You guys getting set up? <laughs> Here, kitty, 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 kitty. I'm going to be the first to attempt the shower. The unfortunate part, I'm not tall enough to reach the taps. My crowning moment as I reach atop the shower and say, more sir, less sir. There's like thorns in the box. I'm here to help you, son. Just tell me when. Okay, no joke. As soon as I got in the shower, we heard this. River, did you hear that? That's a bit, um, worrying. Those are lions and they're not very far away. Apparently, having lions around is just part of the experience. So, let's eat. Actually, it tastes really good. Mmm, that's so sexy. Mmm. Listen, listen, homie. Help me. Okay, time for bed. Oh my god! What? Uh. Whoa, creepy crawlers. Uh. Are you worried about lions? Free, free, free. No. It's a creepy crawler, African style. What is it? <laughs> what? Ah, zombie! Zombie, get out! Soon we were safe in our beds. Well, I'm safe because I'm in the middle. That was day one. Can't wait for tomorrow. <laughs> it is 5.30 in the morning. Time to wake up, River. We are getting up to go on safari. I heard lions and elephants all night. Unlike us, the animals are most active in the morning. First up, high five, dude. So we're forcing ourselves to get up and take on the day. <laughs> okay, everybody, we're leaving in five minutes. A beautiful butterfly emerging from its chrysalis. Ow! I really want to see a leopard. I want to see the inside of a tent. If I could pick one thing to see on safari today, it would definitely be a leopard. Come on, lazy people, let's go! Leopards are very secretive animals, and the odds of seeing one are slim. But we're going to give it our best. Right after River's pee break. George, it's okay, you can head out. We don't need that one. <laughs> we're going to try and find a leopard, and maybe possibly a male lion. To our untrained eyes, the landscape is bushes and, well, dirt. But to George, the landscape is like a treasure map. And we're going to follow the clues to some big cats. George knows what he's doing. We're definitely going to see lions today. Whoa, traffic jam. These are Cape Buffalo, and there's a good chance you'll find lions stalking them. But they're looking too relaxed. Uh, oh except for God. that guy. So, no lions here. Huh? These tracks are now going back. The tracks ended, so we're doubling back. And then we spotted our best clue yet. 
That's a jackal carrying lion leftovers. We see evidence of a lion kill. Like two days ago? The lions had a successful hunt last night, so they should be around here somewhere. The jackal eats what the lions have left behind. The good news is the lions are full, so they won't eat us in our tents tonight. Well. And then another set of prints leads us to the equivalent of a safari jackpot. That is a huge male lion. He is a giant. And we can't believe we're sitting only 15 feet away from one of the fiercest predators in the world. Look at the size of those paws. He could take down a buffalo on his own. And when he turns to look at us, we decide it's time to move on. And so we continue our search for the leopard. But we're finding everything else. Those are honey badgers. They are really rare, apparently. Honey badgers are so fierce, they'll steal food from lions. We see more elephants. It's hard to see, but there's probably like a hundred elephants out here. The road is getting very bumpy, so you can tell that this is not a regularly used trail. In the middle of all these elephants, we have a scary moment. Out, so. The ground here is so rugged, something got up under the carriage as we were driving and ripped out a pipe. George is guide, a driver, and a mechanic. To find a leopard, you go to where their food hangs out. There is baboons everywhere here. Baboons keep lookouts high up in the tree, who will sound the alarm if they spot a leopard. So because these baboons are so relaxed, that means there's no leopards here. So after tea and crumpets... You have to dip them in your tea to get them soft first. ...a swarming by giraffes... We're surrounded by giraffes! George spotted something. The animals were spooked. Look inside it. George has spotted a leopard. Yeah. It's pretty yep. far. But as we turned for a better look, it slipped away. It turns out that's actually a young leopard. And that is incredibly rare. And spoiler alert, that is not the last leopard we are going to see. But first, it's time for lunch. Ah. Looks so good. Then candy. Magical flavor combo. Oh, man. I'm, I'm big. Can I have two, Finn? No. Then a game, which I don't understand. Whoa. One to four. Yeah, I'll take a seven. Put down a number or don't put down a number. That's all the game is. And Finn, well... Oh no. no! He's being thin. <laughs> then we had a quick game of guess that poop. Animal poop. Ooh, tiny little pellets. A guinea fowl. <laughs> Baboon? Huh? Pangolin? Oh me? Steambuck. Oh no. Impala. Uh, maybe. Okay, the answer is Impala. Ben, high five, buddy! <laughs> yeah! So pellets are generally from leaf eaters, and fibrous lumps are from grass eaters. Oh! I love camping! Come on, Archer! Come on, Archer, let's go! Archer! It's our last night in Chobe, so there is no time to waste. This trip has been so much fun, but we still wanted to see a leopard. We saw more sable antelope, another lion. There's a male lion with a big mane. He's huge. We are lucky he's asleep. Drop. Whoa, mongoose. There was just something in the air. And then George got a call. George won't tell us what it is, but he got a call on the radio and now he's driving like a maniac. <laughs> so I think it's got to be something pretty special. The leopard, you can just see the spots though. There, behind that tree, it's a large female leopard. It's beautiful. It's just sitting there licking its paw. I can't believe George actually found us a leopard. And we're so close to it. George notices the leopard has an injury. Leopards spend a lot of time in trees to wait patiently and pounce on one of their favorite foods, impala. They may look cute and helpless, but they're fast 
and the males have these big, sharp horns. And George thinks it was one of those horns that speared the leopard. But by the looks of it, this leopard is going to be just fine, and it's got a lot of fight left in it. We watch in awe before moving on. Our time here is almost at an end, but we make one last stop. Check it out, the lines are out. They ate a zebra this morning, so I don't think they're going to hunt tonight. Seeing these amazing animals in their natural habitat has been incredible. If you'd like to see more of our adventures, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Hey, Finn, how's the shower, buddy? Cool.